The Banking Royal Commission has heard financial giant AMP has taken more than a million dollars in life insurance premiums from more than 4,000 customers who had already died. The inquiry has already claimed the, no the jobs of a number of senior AMP executives and as Sarah Farnsworth reports, the company was hauled back for more questioning today. First it was the Commonwealth Bank. Now AMP has also admitted it charges customers after they die. And these were premiums for life insurance? Uh, that's right. Where there was no longer a life to insure? That's right. <coughs> Congratulations on choosing to protect you and your family with AMP Life Insurance. Internal emails at AMP reveal the problem first came to light back in 2016. But it wasn't until April this year that AMP launched an investigation. Is that as a consequence of the cross-examination of Commonwealth Bank employees at the Royal Commission? Uh, yes. The investigation found not only were premiums still charged after death, but a system glitch meant not everyone was being refunded. AMP will now pay back $1.3 million to more than 4,500 former policyholders. Stopping the premiums being charged when you notify that the person's dead seems a rather obvious step, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But it wasn't taken in 2016? No. I'm so the time sure. value of money goes to AMP's benefit? Potentially. Charging premiums for life insurance to someone who's dead. That's the position, isn't it? Yes. The Commission's scrutiny into the superannuation sector has resulted in its first scalp, with NAB's Andrew Hagger leaving the bank after a decade. In a statement to the Stock Exchange, Mr Hagger took full responsibility for the fee-for-no service scandal exposed at last month's hearings, which could see NAB face criminal charges after it admitted to more than 13,000 breaches of superannuation law. He'll be replaced by former New South Wales Premier Michael Baird. Sarah Farnsworth, ABC News, Melbourne.